Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to debug an IBGener program. Here, you can see an IBGener program where we copy a PS file to another PS file. Let's change the PS file. I'm going to submit this. Max is zero. Okay. I'm going to submit this again. What is going to happen? We'll be getting a JC letter because the file is already present. Okay, how to see this JC letter? Let's go to spool. KC03 E4F prefix of job name. Okay, prefix space star. You're going to see all the jobs in ascending order. For JC error, always come to JE system message. Select this. So you have to start seeing from top. Okay. Otherwise you can search for F found. Otherwise F failed. So one of these keyword is going to give you an error. Okay, F failed. So what it says, there's a problem in step 05. In which DD names? Sysutdo DD name. The message is allocation failed due to data facility system error. I'm going to press F11. Okay, I'm going to press F10 now. Okay. Data set file dot back backup one not defined because duplicate name exists in catalog. So even in Windows, modern day Windows also, you can't create a duplicate file name. Right? Because the file is already present. So once the job is has ended successfully and it has created an output file don't create it again you can reuse the file okay it doesn't mean you can't reuse the file is already there that's why it gave jc letter you can reuse the file how to reuse you have to give either disk equal to old or share and you can reuse the file but if the file is already present you can't recreate the same existing file there are different types of jc error in fact there are two types either there's a problem in syntax Otherwise, the file is already present or file is not pr present. For example, if this input file is not present, you'll get JC letter. Or if the file, the output file is already present, still you'll be getting JC letter. Okay, so there are three types, either syntax, otherwise input file is not present and you are given this equal to share, saying it is already present, you'll be getting JC letter. Otherwise, output file, which is already present and you are give, trying to recreate it again by giving this equal to new still it is going to give a JC error. Okay, now let's resolve this JC error. I'm going to give backup to as far as IBGN is concerned. Okay, if there is no JC error, it is going to execute system is going to execute the program. So if our IBGN error, you'll be getting either zero or 12. Zero means successful, 12 means uh, an exception. Usually for IBGener, the exception will be because of DCB. If the record length of this and this mismatched, you'll be getting an exception. Return code 12. I'm not going to show you JC errors, any syntax errors. I'll straight away going to show you exception and how to correct the exception. Okay, here I'm going to change the record length to 70 bytes. Input file is 80 bytes. Output file should be exactly same 80 bytes. It's a exact copy. Okay, when you're taking backup, you should make sure the record length is exactly same as input length, input file record length. And moreover, give the storage also properly. Okay, make sure the storage is given properly. I'm going to submit this. It is going to give an exception, return code 12. You can see max is 12. There's only one step. I'm going to press F3, F3, the latest job. You can see the job name by default, it will be in ascending order. If you want to change the job name to descending order, you have to write a command sort job ID space D. Sort job ID space D. So D stands for descending order. You can sort any column. You can sort job name, owner, priority, queue, etc. Anything in this spool. Let me enquire this, giving question mark. Remember for JCL, you are supposed to see system message and JSJCL. 
to locate the line to locate the jcl statement now it is not a jcl error it's a exception for exception you are you are supposed to see the corresponding sysprint or sysout okay since there is only one step i am going to going to see the sysprint directly this sysprint belongs to which step step 05 there is only one step in this jcl okay so here this is the message is a information this is a code if you want to see the code the description of this code you can see in ibm website go to ibm.com locate this code in google okay it will be the explanation about this code and this is the message conflicting dc parameters what it says the dc parameters are in conflict between input and output file as you are already aware record length of the input file is 80 bytes so output also should be 80 bytes suppose you take a backup of a movie okay yeah, in 4 gb okay yeah, in a pen drive so you have to buy another pen drive of 4 gb right similarly when you whenever you take a backup of a file make sure the storage is proper and record length is exactly same as input record length i'm going to change this to 80 okay now i'm going to submit this what's going to happen again jcl error what is the problem because in the previous exception the output file got created okay output file got created but it gave exception as i already told you in another video in jes3 jes3 doesn't know whether the job is job step is going to execute successfully or not it is going to allocate the file then execute the step okay when it, when it is executed we got rc12 when it when it got rc12 it is not going to delete this file okay the delete parameter which is given in disposition doesn't mean it has to delete the file when there's an exception it will delete the file when there's an append an append is different an exception is different when there's an append it is going to delete the file for example i'm going to change this program to ib jenny this program is not present you are going to get an append s806 load module not found it's a not a valid system program okay now the job abends okay we are still getting jcl error okay, unless jcl error is resolved it is not going to abend so this file will be created but job abended only when the job abends this file gets deleted by system automatically based on the third sub parameter of disposition okay so this delete will be will be working only when the job abends not for exception like return code 12 16 20 etc so you, so if you want to submit this again either you have to delete this file otherwise change the disposition position to share or give a new file name okay so i'm going to delete this file if it is present tso del this is one way of deleting the file in any panel so what it says it is not deleted because the file is not present the file is present it it will get deleted let's submit this it is going to work properly now max is equal to 0 i'll show deletion again i'm going to retrieve the panel option 2 press enter so what it says entry deleted so this is how you have to resolve the jcl errors any exceptions in ib general okay let me introduce one jcl error i'm going to give comma here it is going to say expected continuation not received it's a jcl error but the file would have been created okay if you go to spool select this expected continuation not received so what jes3 is going to do jes3 is going to create this file and execute this okay only if that's no jcl error i'm going to introduce some other error normally people some people will put i instead of 1 okay let let us see how it works max is 12 it's an exception f9 
so you have to for exception you have to go to sysprint so what it says dd name sysut1 cannot be opened it is trying to open the input file which is given against the dd name sysut1 but what happened sysut1 is misspelled we are given sysut i okay now i am what i am going to do i am going to give sysout okay sysout sysout is not required for i beginner sysout is required for sort or any any program application program but i beginner will be expecting a sysprint so i'm going to submit this okay we have jc error what i'm going to do i'm going to change the file name i'm going to submit this max is 12 f9 f3 let us go to the latest job so what's the problem sys, sys we instead of sysprint we gave sys out that's the reason there is no sysprint at all okay so now if there is any error you have to start seeing all the reports okay but anyway js jsl is not required to be seen because it is going to contain the jsl we have submitted and for normally for jsl errors you have to come to system message now this is not a jsl error it's an exception it's a we got written code 12 go to message log and you'll be finding hint there okay what it says sysprint dd statement missing so this, this statement is missing so uh, ivgener expects sysprint not sysout okay sometimes people will give star here and leave it let us try what what's going to happen okay again jc error i'm going to give retrieve panel so this is the file i'm going to delete submit this okay it, it ran successfully so there it's not an error hope you like this video in the next video i'm going to show three steps of ibgener how to resolve if there are multiple steps thanks for watching this video